Yeah, fam. Yeah, she's coming now, fam. Yeah, finally. How am I gonna tell her? Like, how could this be happening, like, now? I can see the look in her eyes already, bruv. I, I don't wanna hurt her, fam. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Look, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Uncle Clive. I don't mean to shout. Look, I don't wanna cause you any more stress, is it? Is everything in order with you? Like, are you okay? Like, this stuff doesn't affect you, right? You know I was never allowed in this room when I was growing up. They would shut that door. And we was, we was only allowed in there on special occasions. I remember, I remember you was in there all the time now. There's always so much green in there. And sometimes when they're upstairs, me and sis, yeah. We just come in and we just, we just stare at the pictures of the family on the wall. Bare cousins that we just never met. There's a lot of love in this room. Yeah, that's one thing that family was good at, you know? Love. <laughs> love. And drinking rum. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, he's coming, he's coming, finally, my son, my son, he's coming, yeah, any day now, I'll be a bloody dad, that's terrifying, no, oh, it's nice to see you, Uncle Clive, I mean, <laughs> I'm excited, I'm excited about giving him a grandchild, look, <laughs> mum won't stop going on about it, she's, Giving us advice, she's buying things. Look, look, look. She made this for the little one. Isn't it cute? <laughs> yeah, dad had to calm her down with his magic. You know that old school love, yeah? <laughs> yeah, now one thing my dad taught me was to love. I'm not ashamed to say that. And I'll teach that to my son. Yeah. Love. No, I, I look at what you did for us, right? What, what you all did, you know, setting up our lives here. You know, the hours you used to work on the underground, and it's, it's hard sometimes. You know, just... <laughs> I, I, I try to feel like I'm blessed. Like he always says, uh, just walking down the street in this country sometimes, you know? You know? It's just mad. You know, like, you wake up one day and everything that you are is questioned. Like, everything that you know. Like, someone up in their ivory tower has decided that, what, well, I don't belong here anymore. Like, we don't belong here anymore. Like, literally, I blinked and suddenly, I'm not welcome in my own country. Like, fuck that. That's my granddad. That's your best friend. All he ever did was drink rum. All he ever does is drink rum and try and make people happy. Yeah, man, she coming. <laughs> Finally, Veronica is coming. Me sent for her, and soon she will be here in the mother country we're missing. You dream of this day, Hannah. You dream, and now we're here. Now we're home. My arms them been longing for her, you know. My lips them lonely. My heart muted. So I look, man. Nobody look at me like that, you know. Are you with a new woman every day? It's our wife me I talk about, you know. Let me miss her. I miss the lot bad man, so what? Are you that? Come on. No, he ain't been the same since Gran died. And they want to come and do that to my family. He was sat in this very chair when I told him I was getting married, yeah? I remember his face. And today, today, the day before my wedding, fam, today, you know, I can't, I can't, fuck, I can't. Like, when my dad called me, I just... 
Sir. Yeah. She asked me to say it's cold. I mean, I will lie. So? I tell her say she will feel it. <laughs> but me already bought she an overcoat because I know she will cuss. The Lord knows she can cuss. <laughs> you see, when you meet her, you need a two of you already. The overcoat is green. My favorite color. Nice. Festive color, you know? Because it's cold out here. <laughs> I don't think I will ever get used to it, you know? Three jumpers me wear every day. Three. <laughs> Backside. She's gonna be disappointed when she gets here, you know? You always expected this country to be greener than it is. And it is very gray. So? Me get her some little, you know, green liquor things for, for the front room, what do you think? Huh? Let's see here now. Yes! Looking. Looking good. Anyway, Uncle, how are you? Alright, top up? Yeah. How are you and uh how are you and Auntie Patsy? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how long me and the rain will last. No, but uh this baby, this baby's brought us closer together in ways I never imagined. Can't wait to hold him, you know? <laughs> well, they say they're reporting him. <sighs> My granddad. <laughs> He's the most British person we know, you know? <laughs> Should be here any minute. And then I'm gonna have to tell my fiance that we are postponing the wedding. No way I'm getting married without him now. You know he always says we're blessed? Clive! We are blessed, no man. <laughs> she said she asked me what the house is like. I mean, I won't lie and tell her it's small, so? I tell her she will love it. She asked me what the food is like. Mmm. She asked me what the people like. Tell me, um, me tell her. <laughs> me tell her says she will see. She will see. And London is the place for us. Veronica. You and me. Like, is this really Britain in 2018? Like, is this... Is this really a place for you and me?